Um, and in this is a rare case where we th we have been we were able to kind of document how Phil Knight uses a bunch of different techniques on top of each other, magnifying the amount that he's able to pass to his heirs uh, tax free. About nine billion dollars so far, and he probably has a plan for the rest. Well, and talk about why you wanted to focus on Phil Knight, because again, for anybody who hasn't read, you really get into detail, sort of how he's been able to do this. Yeah. So, you know, one of the challenges is to explain these things in plain English, because if you tr if you try to explain them, um, they just sound so illogical. Like, <laughs> how did like how could that be allowed to happen? Right. Like, you're basically one one of the techniques is you basically give you're able to give your heirs the chance to profit from an investment that you own. Um, so th that's not considered a gift. Like all gifts and all state, all, 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 air, all money you leave to your kids is supposed to be subject to this 40% tax, but it basically doesn't happen because of these techniques. And so the, what we wanted to do with Phil Knight was, he, you know, he's not really that extraordinary, really. This, this is happening among bi billionaires and wealthy people across the country. It's just hidden from view. Hmm. So who else? So you focused on Phil Knight, really, but is this really a widespread thing? I mean, totally. are all rich people doing this? Is totally. Email? There was a tr an advisor to Trump who was quoted as saying that only idiots pay the estate oh. tax. Um, so, uh, yeah, we, we, we see in filings that Jamie Dimon and Eric Yuan of Zoom and uh, they're using these things as well. Um, we just had with Phil Knight, we're able to put the pieces together. Got it. So then, why why is this why does this estate tax even exist? <laughs> you know, I'm I'm a bit confused. If it, there are these, uh, what did you call it, lawful tax avoidance that's happening, wh why does the estate tax? That's exist? a really good question. <laughs> so I, we've sort of been in this weird situation where this estate tax was created a century ago to to fight inequality. Really, it was it was Teddy Roosevelt saying we have these swollen fortunes. There's no reason these need to be passed on we we're going to take we're going to take a bite out of them every generation they go through and that's going to even out the money people are, aren't going to inherit money that they they didn't really earn um well that sentiment's still out there we still have we we're back to an extreme inequality now yeah. but the republican party and a lot of um wealthy people too really hate the idea of taxing wealth at death and it's it became this lightning rod and Republicans were not under Trump and under George W. Bush were not able to get rid of the estate tax. But what they've instead kind of decided to do is prevent any of these loopholes from being filled. So basically, it's sort of this nudge, nudge, wink, wink situation where um, we have a, a tax on the books that could be potentially very powerful in ra either raising revenue or c cutting down on inequality, but it's not really being enforced. Is there something like this for people who are not in the Phil Knight 1% category? I mean, can everyday people lawfully <laughs> avoid taxes like this? Or is this, you know, people who have wealth advisors and, and people who are in this upper echelon? Yeah, no, <laughs> you don't have these options. You know, every time we get our paycheck, the IRS has already taken their bite out of it before we even can spend the money. Um, it's very easy for the IRS to track people like us, wealthy people, um, have other techniques and other ways that they can hide both their income and, and the wealth that's in their estates from, from taxes. And so we have a, a bill in Congress. Democrats are, are talking about maybe cutting, uh, uh, cracking down on some of that with new reporting requirements and really closing down a lot of these loopholes that Phil Knight used. Um, but we'll see if they uh, actually are, you know, pass anything. It's, it's controversial. <laughs>